Well, here we are. Everything looks basically the same, and Rick's still alive. Yeah, Un and I'm unless... standing in front of this thing. Yeah, didn't you notice now that it's got a spark plug in there with a big gap and a spark plug wire? <laughs> and I was saying how I was going to make a propane flamethrower out of that thing. Well, that's why I have that gay horn on there, because uh, I wanted to make an interesting flamethrower. So let's see if it works, and I'll, then I'll show you how it works. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's close those doors up a little bit so we can get less light. And in the trunk of my Proto-Gay is a propane tank. What else? <laughs> All righty. Rick's the new victim. I mean, not uh, he's the same victim again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can take it now, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, we'll fire her up. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, it's time for you to get the camera. Still oh, recording. Yeah. Oh, the kitty just came in. Oh. Won't hurt no, he'll be running as soon as it starts okay, up. Here we go. Ha <laughs> ha nice. Now to show you how it works. Can't get any more redneck than this. <laughs> Cheaper to build, that's for sure. Okay, you shut it up. Okay, upon closer inspection, I have taken an ordinary barbecue bottle and just a fitting off a scrap barbecue, and I've welded and, or silver soldered a piece of copper pipe so it can fit a piece of washing machine hose which just loops around there and goes to a washing machine fill valve just like one of these every washing machine's got one hot and cold you always have to plug one end off because if you don't as soon as this valve opens this gas or water will come out that valve so there's just a bolt inside of a piece of cut off washing machine hose the output which is like that goes to another piece of washing machine hose which just goes to a piece of dehumidifier tubing that was all coiled up to get cold in an old dehumidifier which goes all the way to the front of the car. Wire and a ground. So that's just a little electronic solenoid that activates when you push the button up front. Of course washing machine fill valves need 120 volts AC so in this handy dandy pocket we have a little inverter just a lamp cord hooked into that system. There's those wires running back there. There's two wires because there's going to be another wire for the gasoline flamethrower which is going to shoot farther. So this one's the propane. This one's the gasoline. And this one over here is our oil injection. And of course, the spark plug in the nozzle. And this gasoline fired one, when it's functioning, We'll have a spark plug or something a little higher up that will miss this when it opens but be in the right spot to light the gas and go way up. Cool. Now I just got to reroute that spark plug wire so it doesn't look so tacky. Sweet. Now your home water pressure is usually between 40 to 60 psi. The pressure in one of those tanks, if it's not in the hot sun, is usually only 75, 80 psi. So they can handle it. Works fine for me. It's cheap. You can get these free all over the place. And I will have to make a strapping mechanism or some way to hold that bottle down for rough service.